One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, ladies. <laughs> Never call your audience ladies, it's a joke. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. I uh, hope you're doing well. Today is gonna be an improvised video talking about some microfiber over there. I'm using my Lavelle mic here, you know, this wireless digi mic. The reason I haven't been using it much because I've been having all sorts of problems with it. Um, any of you technical guys? So at the moment I have this Lavelle mic plugged in and it's going to a receiver on my phone and then that feeds the audio into my native camera app on my Pixel Pro 7 and I record on the camera app. When I do that, I get like crackling and jumping. Um, I, I've been in contact with Rode and they're telling me to do all sorts of tests, record direct on this little thing and then take the file off and then sync it up. I don't want to do that. The, the, uh, you know, the whole reason with this thing is it's easy. So I, that's never an option to me really to record locally and export and then dub the audio in over the top. Way too much of a pain. So if I can't fix this crackling thing, I won't be able to use these reliably because I can't get good audio. They run at 2.4 frequency, which I think can coincides with wireless networks. And I'm wondering if it's wireless networks that are interfering. Don't know, or if it's something to do with when the battery's a bit lower or something, I don't know. Very strange. I suspect my audio will be fine today. <coughs> you could also hear me, I'm feeling a little bit hoarse. Um, feeling a little hoarse. Yeah, my little one's giving me some sort of bug. You know, it starts off where you get that little watery soreness in your throat and then it moves to your chest and you get all the sinuses build up and then you, you, you can't breathe. So I've got that horrible cold. Um, but anyway, anyway, it's breaking down. So let's go over to the point of today's video. So um, a while ago, a while ago, I did a video on these, which were the Paragon... Paragon um, seamless seamless fleece tail towels where you get like a pack of 36 of them I thought for about 22 pounds which for this type of towel this coral fleece is exceptionally cheap and they're nice and soft towels you know the softest format of microfiber that you can get uh, edgeless really good if you're taking off polish on a car perhaps um, or buffing a nice easy wax that's not too grippy. Anything that comes off the panel nice and you're worried about really being soft on the paintwork, you would use these towels for, but 99% of the time I don't use coral fleece towels really anymore, only if I'm really worried about the paint and I'm polishing. Because they're just a bit fluffy and a bit, they don't work well with water-based things. So I don't like using them if you squirt a detail spray all over the side of the car and use one of those fluffy coral fleece towels. They tend to grip because they're so fine, the strands. Um, so I tend to, they work better on waxes and waxes and polishes for me. Um, so Paragon reached out for me and they said they'd send me some Terry's over because I wanted to check the Terry's even though I'd seen them, I didn't have any. And they've sent me a sample box of what I think is their detailing range of microfiber. And I've received this for free, so it might make the review a little bit biased. But I think it's of interest to tell you about this stuff because its main claim to fame is it's cheap, okay? It's cheap because Paragon are essentially a wholesale microfiber provider, not really just for the detailing industry, for sort of commercial industry. So they have normal towels that, you know, cleaners will go and buy and all sorts of mop heads and all, you know, you know, mops, not as in machine polishers, but you know, mops, <laughs> all that sort of stuff for domestic and industrial use. And I think, you know, they've always been aware of detailing, but I think it's perhaps grown for them, so they're probably offering a little bit more. So let's have a look at some of the stuff that they're, that they're offering. So first up, we've got this wash mitt, which, let's put this down so we can just open it up properly while you're here. So let's just have a look at this. Um, so everything comes packaged, which is nice, so you're not getting the dust on it. And it's got an explanation of what it is. So wash mitt, £6.54 plus, including that. 
These microfiber wash mitts are generally considered one of the best on the market. The main advantage is the amount of water they hold, cleaning ability of the microfiber, and the way the deep pile of the microfiber enables the mitts to remove dirt and grime from all cracks and crevices. They're super soft, which enables helps prevent scratching delicate paintwork. Uh, yeah, they are soft. We know all about these. You know, we've reviewed lots of them on the channel. Um, and that feels pretty good to me for six pound, six pound um, fifty four or whatever it costs, and it's full of padding. And if you're in the trade and you're getting through tons of them, you'll probably save a little bit of money um, buying these. It's not quite as stiff as some of like the premium ones, which cost like fifteen, sixteen quid, and maybe not quite as deep a pile as well. But that is perfectly adequate for uh, washing cars with. I would use this if I if I went for this format but you know I like um, the Chanel's because <laughs> always get this in I've, we've tested everything you know and I think the Chanel's are actually the safest thing you can put on your car's paintwork I think when there's dirt involved but you also know you can wash your car with anything can't you you can wash it with absolutely anything so whatever you like I don't like um, mitts because I find them a pain to get your hand in of and then a pain to get your hand out of they go all soggy and floppy and you're forever taking your hand in and out of them to grab your brush and all of that sort of stuff. So I tend to like a pad. So this in a pad would be nice. Um, and that's what I used to use actually few, many years ago for doing that test. So there's something for you, six pound 54, pretty cheap. Now, they, they have a Chanel mitt. I don't know what the price is on this, but I'm guessing it's gonna be very cheap. This to me just feels a little bit thin and floppy. And it doesn't have, well, it doesn't have as much padding as that thing over there. So when this gets wet, and the, uh, the Fresh Layers guys have got one of these, I've used this, it does go really floppy. Um, so I probably wouldn't go for this. Again, I'd want a pad with quite a rigid piece of foam, exactly this size, just like this, but with a, good quality stiff bit of foam which doesn't roll around on the inside and it, the foam has to be quite strong for me that's important so this sits flat and it doesn't just all flop around so but that would be something if you do like chanel's and you're not fussy and you just want the best price that will be cheap whatever it is if i can be bothered i'll flash up the price on the screen i reckon it'll be about three or four quid So here are some microfiber applicators. Let's have a look at these. So first off, you've got these things here. These are massive polish applicators. So these are one pound sixty-four each, which is fine. You can see the you can see the 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 foam inside is like stretching on it a little bit, and it's a bit it's not perfect. So when you wash these and use them, that foam can tend to move around a little bit and these can get even more out of shape it does feel quite soft it's got a little tag there you can put your hand in sorry a little pocket um i think these are for like using glazes and polishes and things like that um waxes and sealants no i prefer to use a foam applicator really because you tend to you can pull this up in microfiber but in microfiber applicators you know so they're, they're good for certain things this for me would be better with a water-based thing so like a dressing and you just plaster it in a, a dressing and then put it on your hand and go over all your dashboard and your interior trim and stuff like that I don't think I'd use this for um, polishes and glaze on my paintwork personally price is pretty decent it's a bit it's a bit on the hefty side it's massive but that's got its pros and cons um, now we've got these things here which are ceramic applicators £8.70 for 10 so about 87p each so these don't feel like they've got any padding in them so I don't think they do or maybe a tiny bit of foam backing but hardly any you get two or maybe three fingers in there and it's got a bit of microfiber on there I mean these are pretty decent price they're not the best quality ones I've ever seen though um, but I suppose if you're using these for ceramics, you really treat them as disposable. Um, the downside with these is once you have used these for a ceramic, 
you wouldn't use you wouldn't keep them for any other function because they're not like big enough to do a tire dressing they're too small so you'd probably just use these and throw away which is a bit of a shame uh, but they're okay again probably i probably wouldn't wouldn't go with those but they're all right you don't know until you really try them do you so that's all that sort of stuff <coughs> um now <coughs> Here they've got a drying towel. So this is a twisted loop drying towel that's 1200 GSM and costs 15 pound 27. Let's have a look at this. I think all of this Paragon stuff is Chinese made, I think. If you buy the Korean stuff, it's a little bit more expensive and you have to get bigger orders of it. Now straight away, it's a decent size that is. It's a decent size drying towel. It's got stitches down it holding it together. Without those stitches, it would separate. And it's it's woven round on the edge. But what I can say is if you look at the length of the pile on this, the length of the pile is a lot shorter. And let me just go and show you one that I've just been using. This one here, this is Chinese as well. Hold on a second. There's not that much in it, but this has got a longer pile on it. The loops, the loops on this one are a bit higher. Not much, a little bit. But if I go over here, bloody hell. I've got Imran's Korean one here, which I think is about 16 quid. Yeah, the loops on the, the strands of microfiber on this are a lot longer. And it feels heavier. And I think you can get that, from, I'm not sure what the price is on that, but it's not much more than this. So normally, we'll talk about some of the other products in a second, but normally the Paragon stuff is very, very cheap compared to the rest of the market. Whereas this drying towel is a decent price, but it's not a mega bargain. It's all right, it's all right. Just a little bit light compared to uh, the Korean one. So again, that probably is something I wouldn't go for. Let's put that to one side. Okay, next up. These are pearl weave. Um, so these are quite good. Some people use these for everything because it could be a sort of all-purpose towel. But one of the cool things with these pearl weaves is that the fibres aren't like in little loops that stick up. So you don't get tufts in it. It runs across the towel. So these are really smooth over the paint. These do work well with water-based products and detail sprays. They work great for ceramic coatings. They're okay for polish uh, on cars. But if you're using, um, you know, they can get, a side of it can get caked in polish quicker than other towels. Um, but these are pretty good. They're more expensive than their normal Terry's. 360 GSM. These are £13.62 per pack, and I think you get 10 in a pack. So it's £1.36p, um, which isn't bad. Yeah, cloth is highly versatile and works well on all surfaces. If you do use these for coatings, you can relegate them, chop a corner off, you know, chop a little bit off the corner so you know it's been used for coatings, and then just use it for cleaning, you know, anything that involves pulling out muck. Um, these are good, but again, I don't think I would buy these, and it's not because they're... It's not because they're Paragon or anything. These are, these are absolutely fine, they're soft, they're very cheap. That price is very good. I don't think you'll beat that price. That's a very strong price, probably normally two or three quid for these pearl weed towels. But I think you can do a similar thing with their Terry's. So let's just move on to these Terry's. So here's two bags, right? Now these were what I was talking about years ago. So these are their premium, I think they're 300 GSM Terry's and they're six pound 18, including VAT for a pack of 10, which is what, 61p each for a towel? And they are a nice soft Terry 
really nice and soft actually and they they do last and they don't go rock hard quickly and they're a good all-purpose microfiber towel at a really good price the only thing is they have the stitched edge on them which is no is no big deal but um i just prefer an edgeless cloth so i'm not ever rubbing anything with a slightly harder bit you know like those you're just rubbing down your car and you rub over, catch the edge on a bit of gloss plastic. I think it's just more likely to scratch than the soft nap. Maybe it's just in my head, but I'd rather have edgeless. So that moves me over to these, which are edgeless. And these are the towels that I was talking about, the seamless, seamless terries. You buy a pack of these and you get 36 towels Okay, you get 36 in a pack. It says 19.99. I thought they were about 22 quid. I don't know. But 19.99 including that. So our new Kirkland equivalent microfibers. Well, they're not the same as the Kirklands, but they're competing with it in that price where they offer 36 for, you know, not a lot of money. Um, now, I think these are really, really good for the money. And these are the re this is the reason why these other microfiber cloths I wouldn't bother with them because I'd go straight for this because these are the cheapest. They're edgeless. They're soft. I think they're, they're actually a dual pile. So they're a bit like the Rag Company edgeless 300s. Or if you look at the edgeless 365, it has one flat on one side and then longer on the other. So it's that dual pile where, you know, they can... I think it's a loop. But anyway, I think... That's the format of the towel. But basically, both sides are the same. The edges are soft. These look, to me, like they're cut. They're probably much easier to cut than those thick yellow towels over here, where some of the cut quality, some of the edge cut quality on these wasn't quite as good. They're probably harder to cut, whereas these probably cut a lot easier. But the edge quality looks really good, straight as an arrow. And these, you can use for anything, really. You can use them for coatings. You can use them for polish. You could, you know, not perfect glass towels because you will pull fibres from them when you really bite into the glass, but you could wipe over glass with them. You could clean leather with them. You can clean your dashboard with them. You can do mucky jobs with them if you want. You can do anything with these towels. Um, now, do you, can you use these for paintwork? Yes, you can, absolutely. Um, like I said, some people might be really fussy or you're working on a car with really soft paint and you're really having trouble finishing it out. So sometimes people do like those. But 99% of the time when you're polishing a car with half-decent paintwork, it's OEM paintwork, you know, a good microfiber towel that's clean like this will be absolutely fine. Yes, there's less cushioning as well. So when you've got that folded four ways under your hand, it's a bit more pillowy, you know, like it's a big big load of cushioning whereas this is going to be a little bit more pressure but still this these are absolutely fine on paintwork they're good for i think 300 wash cycles don't quote me on that it might be something like that 300 times yeah so after 300 wash cycles they'll probably start stiffening up um, and degrading they will stiffen up a little bit after you know that when microfiber comes brand new it feels amazing and it all feels lovely and soft then when you've washed them 10 20 times they don't feel all nice and silky and soft because they just don't but they're still fine to use this is the sort of towel that i am looking to use i'm going to do a review on these in another video these are ones from wax is dead that We've, well, I'll tell you about that in another video. Um, where was I going with this? Yeah, so these are the towels that I tend to use all the time. And I've been using these for years. And these have done hundreds of wash cycles. And they're not, they don't feel like brand new soft microfiber. But they feel absolutely fine. And they're very similar to those. They're the same towel, but these are just a little bit more material in them. So they're a little bit more thicker. Um, so yeah you can't buy these those come direct from a manufacturer for anyone that's going to ask um, but really the claim to fame of these towels is the price for what you're getting um, you know that is a really really good price and this out of all of the products here these this is the, the one that you really should check out first 
because it's very, very good value for money. What else is in this box? So we have a couple of glass towels here. Um, so you have these, like, I call them sort of snakeskin ones. These are like the black diamond from the rag company. They're, I can't remember what they're called. These are nice because they're quite smooth over the glass. Um, and there's no naps. You're never going to pull fibres off them. These towels will last you a lifetime. They're not all soft and stretchy and fine. They're quite, you know, they're quite stiff, quite, you know, it's like trying to pull leather. It's, there's no give in this towel. Um, so you can really work the hell out of them. And this is a different type. This is more like the suede microfiber glass towel, which are okay, but I don't know. I just think I prefer this type of towel to this one, but it's really personal preference. These are 15 quid for, is it for 10? Probably for 10, yeah. 15 quid for 10, so about one pound 50 each. So they're not, they're not a bargain. These ones are 10 pounds for 10, so these are about a pound each. And 10 of these will probably last you a lifetime if you look after them, because they just keep going and going and going. When you're polishing or when you're wiping over glass, really, you're, you're just trying to get all of that fine sort of film off, aren't you? So you get a nice clear finish. You're not looking for these towels to be mega absorbent, like when you're picking up polish and you there's loads of it. You've got to mop up all that polish. You're just looking for these to skim over and grab what you want without sticking down on the glass and balling up. So I would go for those ones. Now, I would buy those. Out of everything here, those and those for sure are the things that I would buy. Um, but it could be different, you know. There could be reasons in there that you want some of those other towels. Maybe you like those pearl weaves. That's a pretty good price. So there you go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's almost, I think Paragon Microfiber is almost a bit of a hack because it's like buying wholesale and you can just go in and you can get wholesale prices. Um, yes, let's just talk about what you're not getting. There are Korean towels out there that are higher quality, perhaps, you know, but you pay a lot more for it. So it really depends what you want and where you are. When I first started this channel, I was really, really like microfiber obsessed, really obsessed with microfiber. And like I wanted to go through and get all the best towels and I wasn't so fussed about how much they cost. And I got all of these towels and all that sort of stuff and looked at all these towels. Um, nowadays I like, yeah, I just really want as few towels as I can to do what I need. I need a good glass towel, a good all purpose Terry, maybe some of these soft pearl weaves there for, uh, sorry, open pile cloths, you know, the fleece ones for when I'm polishing something that I'm really fussy about, a good drying towel, uh, some applicators, um, and that's about it. So yeah, there's one thing I've forgotten here. And that is this diamond weave towel. So this, Jeff had this from um, Prestige Car, like a very similar thing. And it was um, for, originally he had it for marine function. So you could wipe the side of a boat down with it. It's a bit, it's a bit like a chamois, <laughs> even though it's not like a chamois. It's a bit like a chamois because even though it's dense, this gets wet very quickly. And then it's it's kind of like what you're doing is just sort of sheeting the water off. You're almost like dragging it off without sort of buffing it to a bone dry finish like you do with kind of like a fleece towel or even those Korean, you know, even those twisted loop ones over there. They tend to get the car bone dry. Whereas this, if you were just drying cars all day long, you could still use this wet and you'd just like, you know, you just flop it, flop it over and get 99% of the water off and then go and get a detail spray and come back with a microfiber cloth and you know buff you know spray and buff up the paint with one cloth and for some people that would be a good option but for me i covered this about eight years ago when i first started the channel i just don't think they're quite as safe on paint as even the twisted loop or definitely like the coral fleece soft towels i just prefer that format so that's my view of all of this, guys. Um, I'll just put a general link for Paragon in, and you can go and search, look at their detailing automotive towers. You'll find all of this lot on there. And that is definitely 
the star of the show. That's a phenomenal product, I think, at a really good price. Again, let's just be clear. There are better quality ones out there, but not at that price. You know, you're getting to close to 50p a towel if that 19.99, including that, is right without delivery. Um, that's very, very good price, isn't it? And if you think about it, the only way, forgive the sniffing, the only way Paragon can make a margin on this is by, so the margin on each towel is very low, but if they sell you more, 36, then that margin builds up. So you're saving money by buying more and they're making mar their margin by selling you more. And they have to make a margin, but the margins on that can't be phenomenal. They've got to be quite low. I can't, <laughs> I can't imagine that they're getting those towels. I cannot think they're getting those edgeless towels for less than 30p a towel. No way. No way. They've got to be, they've got to be about 40p a, a, a towel. So the margins are tiny, really. That's a bargain. And that's what we want to show you on the channel, things that are cool. So take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon on the Forensics detailing channel. Bye for now.